now join with me, everybody sing. I'm gonna lift my voice to glorify my King. He is a mighty God and worthy of our praise. We give Him everything, He's good in every way. Come on now, join with me, everybody sing. I'm gonna lift my voice to glorify my King. He is a mighty God and worthy of our praise. We give Him everything, He's good in every way. He is always there for us. He's good in every way. Pouring out His awesome love. He's good in every way. He fills us up with peace and joy. He's good in every way. out about the twins Esau and Jacob and do you remember Isaac's favorite was Esau and Rebecca's favorite was Jacob now who got the blessing from old Isaac can you remember yes it was Jacob the younger brother who tricked Isaac into giving him the blessing today we jump to chapter 37 many years later and Jacob now well he has a large family but it's complicated because he has four wives now although this wasn't God's plan as we can read in Genesis 2 it is something that God seemed to allow let's have a look at Jacob's family and try and keep counts of his children Jacob first of all married Leah. He actually wanted to marry the younger sister Rachel, but was tricked into marrying Leah instead. She gave birth to Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, and daughter Dinah. Then there was Bilhah, unofficial wife number one, and gave birth to Dan and Naphtali. Then Zippah, unofficial wife number two, gave birth to Gad and Asher. And finally, Rachel, favourite wife and younger sister of Leah, and she gave birth to Joseph and Benjamin. Sadly, then she died. Now let's turn to chapter 37, verses 1 to 11, and look at the three reasons why Joseph's brothers hated him. Chapter 37, verse 2, we're told Joseph, aged 17, reported to Jacob about the behaviour of Bilhah and Ziphah's son, Dan, Naphtali, Gad and Asher. He might have been right to do so. However, he was much younger and his brothers would have seen him as a snitch. Secondly, he was Jacob's favourite, his first son from his favourite wife, Rachel. And to rub it in, Jacob gave him a special coat. We read the brothers hated him and couldn't speak a kind word to him. He was the ultimate spoilt younger brother.
Finally, he told his brothers about his dreams, and they interpreted them to mean that Joseph would be more important and would reign and rule over them like a king. The brothers hated him, and after the second dream, the brothers' hatred grew even more, and they were consumed in jealousy. Now, this is quite a family saga, isn't it? And you'll have to come back next week to see where the brothers' jealousy takes them. But what do we learn from the passage? Well, firstly, this is the beginning to explain and record for us how and why God's special family who'd lived off the land and moved around and grazed their herds in Canaan ended up in Egypt. It's all part of God's great rescue plan, which spans nearly 2000 years all the way to Jesus. We can read in Acts chapter seven that the first Christians found this really helpful to know and it's helpful for our faith too. Secondly, Jacob's family they did have different customs, different languages, and yet the problems caused by favoritism, hatred and jealousy are easy actually for us to relate to. They do not change. People are messy and far from perfect. And this gives us a bigger picture of God's grace to us. It records in extraordinary details the messy family life Yet God keeps his promises. Despite everything from this family, a nation is formed. They enter the promised land. And through this family line, the whole world is blessed through Jesus. Just as God promised. Well, that's enough for me. God bless. Bye for now. out by you your spirit wrote through men like a pen in the hand of a god who knew that we would need to know how much you love us so you wrote it down for us forever oh, oh, oh. from genesis to revelation this one story of your great salvation it's all about jesus oh it's all about jesus shout now from every page this one hero So bright, he leads us day by day to the one, the way, the truth, the light. And every time we read, you give us what we need to grow in grace and know you better. Oh, oh, oh. from Genesis to Revelation, this one story of your great salvation. It's all about Jesus. Oh, it's all about Jesus. Shout down from every page. This one hero.